our whole process is incorporated into a new roof for your mobile home. So if your seams are breaking, your house is old, and uh, you can't cool seal it anymore, that's what we're here for. So check us out. Start to finish. Well, you won't be believe what you see at the end of this video. All right, so we're here in Whiteville, North Carolina, and we're getting ready to do a mobile home. And I'm going to show everybody a little bit about what we do <coughs> and how we do it. Okay, this is something people have been asking questions about. Mobile home. Notice my guy's going down there, and you see the marks that he's making right there. Well, this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. He's marking the center of every rafter on this roof. Marking one side, then the other, and making sure he gets the center. So go down here with the screwdriver. Shouldn't you be a little closer to the edge? Shouldn't you be a little closer to the edge? Yeah, I start going up a little high. Enough. Yeah, can you uh, get back to yeah, the edge? Yeah, I will. I will. So we can pop the lines like we're supposed to. That'd be awesome. Thank you. And uh, so he's going to pop lines. We're going to get uh, marks all the way down through here. All right, so check this out. We're doing the other side the same thing. This is an unusual trailer here, and they run, they're all different. I've run into so many different mobile homes that it's not funny. Okay, so marking these marks, we're getting ready to pop lines. And the reason why we're popping lines is because we're going to put plywood on this roof. Plywood, I cut a hole in the roof so I know what's going on. So check it out. See this right here? It's a big bump right here. There's a two by four on the flat running. Here it is right here. Let me show you. Pay attention to this because this is interesting. There's a two by four laying down here on the flat right here. Looks like they've ripped it in half. And there's another one right here. And they put them on top of the rafters. Okay. So what we're going to do is pop these lines across here to here. And we'll go across that center there. We're going to poke another bigger hole in here and see what we have in the middle. But we're going to pop these lines also so we know where our rafters sit. And we're going to run four foot sheets down through here. All the way down so we can flatten, keep them so they don't have a, a dip right here. We're going to put two by four down through here, see? Same thing on the other side. Has to have a two by four run down here because our four foot line, and yours could be the same, is from here to the outside. I want six inch overhang. So my two by four is sitting up here where my foot is and my mark is down there. So I need to run a two by four down through here so that I can make this kind of come up level and then flat across the top and then back down the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna do a detailed video on this house. You wanna take off your little hi-hats. Take off your hi-hats. And when you're on your roof, be careful that you're walking on these rafters and not on these seams. You can see where they've cool sealed this thing a hundred times and there's seams here. You do not wanna break them seams open. That's for sure. I know. I just bought them. All right, so here we go, and I'll show you as we go. This thing has gutters. Don't check this out, too. This is your mobile home gutter. This is a little bit smaller than some that you see. This is real small, actually. And um, you can tell it's got leaks behind it. Let's see if I can seal that part. The leaks. Yeah, see that right there. So the water's getting right behind that. here I want to give a complete detailed demonstration of a rubber roof so stay tuned next step on this particular roof and not all we have to run strapping and the reason why is like I told you we got a big hump here in the middle it sticks up so we have to level it out to the hump level it out and then to the edge okay. this might might be in a different place on your roof we're gonna put it right here Screw to the outside, screw to here, screw to here, screw to there. Because there's plenty of places to screw to. Okay, so strap your roof up if you have a big hump in the middle like we do. Not all of them have this. This is kind of unusual. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You just go with it. Just go with it. Sorry about the wind. This has to be cut back, I think. No overhang on this end. Alright, what we got going on now, Bargo? Alright, check it 
out. We've got that side ran. Yes, sir. Look at that. The reason for all the blocking, which is screwed to the rafters, is that big bump right there. All right, lip he's on. Get two guys working together. That line, that's what's keeping this straight all the way down here, guys, and that's so important that you, everything lines up. Once one man gets it, he can get it done, especially this guy's the first guy right here. Put, put a screw in. Center your line, it won't go down, Bill. I think you're close enough, but looking pretty good. Right. Do that all the way down. Do it all the way down. So, there you go. We're gonna finish this up. Line up your outside edge is most important, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that thing lined up and go. Give it to give, gotta go to you, Bob. You ain't tight over there. There you go. There you go. You're in now, guys. Huh? Sweet. You're all in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please put one screw in one side and then we'll go to the other side. That is sweet, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's how you prepare your framing right there. Sometimes you want to run two before's and sometimes you don't. The most important part about this thing is when you ran your two by fours that you find your roof joist on the inside here. Right here, see? Find your roof uh, joist and screw them into the joist of the roof. These. Screw that into the joist. And you do that all the way down. Screw that right into the joist of the roof. It's only a two by two in there, so you've got to get the center of it. Most important. Yes, sir? Need a battery? Need a battery. Alright, screw into it. All right. Same thing over here. We ran one of these right here. Screws. Screws. Two by two right under here. That's all there is for rafters. Everywhere. Two by two. Screws. That's all right. Throw it again. Happens. Awesome. We're looking good, guys. Yes, sir. Everyone, every rafter in the middle. These are already up, see? So that's why we put these in there because of the way this roof was. We couldn't have that in our roof, so we wanted to make a nice roll to it. Now we have one. So we have rafters that run down through here. We have rafters that run down through here. We have one that runs down through here. And then, of course, the ones we put in here for screwing to. Let's just make sure we hit them, and we'll be great, guys. This thing is going to rock and roll. All right, we'll take another one of them as soon as I get this thing. Now we're adding facial metal. <clears throat> and this is how you do it. It's crooked. It's not going to be straight. I'm not trying to make it straight. I'm just going to try to make it as straight as I can. I mean, I can't do uh, miracles here. So uh, you got only so much you can work with, and that's what we're going to do. So as you can see, a little swoop down there. You're probably going to have a swoop in this metal too. It won't really show up so much once you get it get it going on. How cool is that, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the way you want to finish off your mobile home. Plywood, let it hang over, run your two before back here, screw it down through the plywood, run some facial metal. From here back to the trailer where there is, and then an inch and a quarter down here. So in case you need to flex it in, in or out a little bit somewhere, you got the ability to do that. So that's where you want to be, guys. DIY, baby, all day. You can do this. You can do this. He's got to. Go back. What is it? 
right there, a little bit more. Don't walk in that stuff. Don't walk in it, whatever you do. Come on, man. Come on. Yes, sir. Take it out. We can push it from this side now. Once you get it out, you just push it from this side. You guys are killing them. If you look at these roller handles, I bet you, you can tell where we bought them from. What color are they? Yeah, orange. Orange. Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot.com. Paint now. I'll put a link to it soon. All right, another one by some dust. It's a mobile home, rubber roof. Right now we're installing the termination bar, which is the last step of our project. How do we install the termination bar on EPDM rubber? Just the front. Just the front. <laughs> you did it at the right time. We got a break right here. That's it. The reason I thought about it. And you do that all the way around. Be good. All the way around. <laughs> Come back, fill in the screws when you're done. And then you're going to cut the rubber off right at the bottom of this termination bar. <laughs> done deal. How to install a termination bar on EPDM rubber edges. Sorry about that. You can always hire Drew's Roofing and Home Repair, the, the crew, to come to your place and we'll do it for you. So if you don't know how to do it, you don't have anybody around your place that can do it, give us a call. We want to come and do it for you. We're heading to Delaware, just the other side of New Jersey, to do a rubber roof on a mobile home. And uh, that will be probably in about a few months because it's cold in Delaware right now. This is March, first week in March. And Delaware in March is pretty damn cold. So stay tuned and uh, hit that bell notification for my videos so you can watch that job being done. So I look forward to uh, seeing you there. Drew's ripping and home repair, guys. Mobile home rubber roof. Stay tuned. <laughs>